want to see the cringiest, most cuddly thing ever? This is called a love surge. And we do this when one of us has like so much love in our limbs that we can't contain it and feel like we're going to explode. So Sean is having a love surge right now and he's going to wrap around me and shake with the electricity of love until I catch it too and start shaking and then you explode with a love surge. Ah, this feels so much better. Don't you? Thank you. You're welcome. And that's the love surge. So much love was just surged. Want to see the cringiest, most comfortable? And y'all be wondering why some of these dudes be 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 beheading their wives and and leaving them in the fridge for months. That's the road he heading down right there. You having love love surges, love surges. for me great because i love you I, I never wanted to not be with you i never wanted to be without you i want to do life with you but in the process of all this happening you a liar you got you a bitch and i had to hear from this bitch what y'all relationship was about no nah, we not no more i want to see other people you act like you're the only fucker in this relationship that other people want to no nah, we we no let's let's be real let's so what we gonna do is we gonna stay together we going to have a beautiful life together for the rest of our lives. We're going to continue getting money together. We're going to continue raising this little girl together. We're going to have a fabulous home. We're going to love and take care of each other. But I'm going to f*** other people. And I hope you do too. Oh, no. Nah. Jesus Christ. And we will never, ever talk about it. Don't bring me no babies. Don't bring me no diseases. But we're going to do what we want to do outside uh, this house. Uh, because to this point, it has worked. Uh, Pray for me. Great. Because I love you. Bruh. I mean... Is she wrong? Is she wrong? She she caught him cheating. Damn. I don't know. I don't think her husband felt as though he was the man of that relationship. She caught him cheating and she came in and she made the rules for how the relationship was going to be moving forward. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, damn, I wonder how many times she has made rules for their relationship. Am I reaching? Tell me if I'm reaching. Tell me if I'm reaching. If she had said, yo, I'm leaving your ass, that would have been cool too. Because he's f***ing wrong. But, you know, if I'm doing these videos, then I got to look at it from different angles, right? So, my thing is, why did he cheat? Why did he cheat? Y'all married, y'all got kids, it seems like y'all make money, y'all established. Why did you cheat? Side bitch was probably making him feel like a man. Y'all gonna, I know y'all gonna kill me for this. I know y'all gonna flame me for this, but go ahead. Tell me how y'all feel in the comment section. Okay. All right. Y'all burning me out. This bitch in here cooking a splash. <laughs> a splash of what? I don't know. <laughs> well, she done put a splash of it in? I don't know. This bitch is literally directly in front of your motherfucking eyes today. Cooking a splash. Right now, this second. Cooking a splash. <laughs> What is that? Explain really? that. Explain that to me. How, how, how can you cook a splash? What is Auntie doing? Cooking a fucking splash. This splash some shit in there. My girl says it's a pancake. No. There ain't no pancake. pancake. A little bit more old than that. Yeah, pancake got little some. Bit more, there's a little bit more cake than yeah. that. A little bit more pan than that. <laughs> Auntie just cooked a splash. A splash of what? I don't know. Okay. All right. Culturally, we all eat different things. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't finna go in on, you know, that might be a delicacy wherever they from. So sometimes I'll sit on Instagram and binge watch these street vendors and the things that they cook. And I've seen some shit now. She cooking a splash. I've seen motherfuckers cook bugs. Roaches. 
I've seen fried roaches before. Now, I I ain't never ate no roach. Well, let's not say that. I grew up in the hood, so I, I probably have eaten roaches without knowing. I'm not willingly finna eat no roach. I ain't finna go in on nobody culture because I ain't trying to get canceled today. He just That's just how some guys know how to date. But no. they just, they think that it's restaurants. They don't have nothing restaurants else. Restaurants, the restaurants. No, that's it. That they don't they have nothing, nothing else. else. They All they want to lie. do, and I think if we're talking about stuff that's outdated, you taking me to a restaurant for the first few dates is very outdated. Yeah. If we're just meeting up, I don't want to go to the movies. I don't want to go to a restaurant. I don't want to do any of these things as a first date because... That's not me getting to know you. That's not us having genuine conversations, especially if we go to the movies. Like, what we going to do? Talk about how we want our steak cooked? Ooh. But, like, it'll be better <laughs> if we have time to, like, yo, I like to run. I like to work out. Let's go for a walk. Let's go to the gym. Like, I'd much rather do that than go to the go out to a restaurant. Yo, I love that answer. But I do want to say it's not that he doesn't know anything else. See, what is it? the gentlemen are realistically the only man that listen to what – a woman said they wanted and didn't know what they wanted, right? So when you hear about that guy that takes him out to eat or takes women out to eat and just brings flowers and opens all these doors, he ends up being a cornball because he was just doing what you ask. But nine times out of ten, women are only asking for things. The other women want. Cool, but in this case, women are only asking for things that other women wanted. He just That's just how some guys know how. Now, I've seen that part of the clip before. I didn't see the beginning. This is a perfect example of men just being confused as to what women want. Because on one hand, you hear and you see all these videos of women saying that, you know, you need to take me here and you need to spend this amount of money and we need to do this. And you need to be a gentleman who opens the door and you need to be... All these type of things, right? Let's say you suggest, hey, I'm about to go jogging. Or I'm about to go to the gym as a icebreaker for a first date. You run the risk of her calling you broke. I don't know how, how long some of y'all been on this channel, but I reacted to a video where a guy uh, suggested that him and the young lady went on a walk. He suggested they went on a walk as a first date. And she was like, that's the worst dating idea ever. Now, I'm not coming at them. I'm not coming at them at all because I would love to go to the gym for a first date. Let's go fishing. I don't know how to fish. I'm pretty sure you don't know how to fish. You might teach me something. You know what I mean? Like, let, let's do something out of the box. I know I'm not saying it's, it's easy being a woman because I know it's hard being a woman. But it is very hard to be a man. And what makes it hard to be a man is... The expectations that people have for you. And I think, like, to truly tap into your manliness or manhood. I know they always say tapping into womanhood and all that. To truly tap into manhood, bro, is to not give a fuck about nothing. Be selfish. I mean, once you have a family, that's over with. But you single, you single, my boy. Be selfish. Be selfish. Be very strict. Be very robotic with the things that you you are willing to accept. Be very robotic with the things that you are willing to accept. Have no leeway. None of that. Because the moment you do, you're going to start confusing yourself. Because one person might like this, one person might not like this. Have yourself a threshold, my boy. Have yourself a threshold. If, if they make it through that filter then you can ease up a little bit. But if they don't make it to that filter, then fuck it, bro. Because you're going to confuse yourself trying to make these women happy. And not all women. I'm not coming at all women because, of course, I'm married. So, you know, my wife made it through the, the, the filters and the threshold and all that. But don't 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 confuse yourself trying to figure out what women want, bro. My period is 14 days late. You are pregnant. <laughs> Just late. It's 14 days. You are pregnant. I don't know. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I really don't know. Don't take it on the internet. Fourteen days, you you pregnant, mama? On the internet business, so much TMI. What's going on? Like, I just been like a little bit emotional. I really think my period is coming, but it's just taking forever. Lady, like a father that left fourteen days ago to go buy milk, it is not coming. 
So I might skip this month and it'll come on next month, but I'm gonna still just take this for fun. Somebody is the Lulu, the Lulu, the Lulu. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you pregnant. What the Yeah. did it again. My period is 14. That boy said Nick Cannon did it again. Hey, I can't believe she said, I'm going to miss it this month, but it's going to come back next month. Now, I'm not an expert on period. I just, you know, know the days around, you know, when I can get some. But, um... Does it pick and choose what month is coming? D does it do that? I want to know. Because that's that's crazy. Like, periods go on vacation? Who I want to see with? Cassie. Cassie. Are you from Cassie? <laughs> from Long Island. From Long Island, Cassie. <laughs> yeah. What you mean? Like, you work out? I do. Shit. Yeah. Kind of stronger than me. Yo, low key, yeah. she, she look... Dang. She look Anyways, good. Anyways, um, rate me one to ten. Hold on. She look Let me good. Give you a three sixty. Yes. Honesty, like, yeah. I give you a nine. Nine. She jacking me. I'm trying to show you. Don't three sixty though. Okay. Hey, boy, don't mess it up. Oh my Jesus Christ. One more time. One more time. Other way. Other way. Yeah. Other way. Yeah. Wait, wait. Stop. 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 <laughs> Shit. Can I glaze your buns? Huh? Can I glaze your buns? What does that mean? Why would you ask that? Why would you ask that? Why not? Because I don't know what that means. I'm trying to glaze your buns. Like. Wait, like why would you ask like that, bro? Like, what the fuck? Did, what did you just say? Nah, hold on, nah. Like glaze? No, no, like glaze your buns. You don't know what that means, no, no, Mm. Nah, I don't, I don't, you gotta be specific. She knows too much. <laughs> Hold on, I Yo, I don't know, bro, you know, it, it's, I'm married. <laughs> I'm married, bro. Throw it on the ground, because it's not going in my truck. I told you don't throw it in my truck. Uh, 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 Yo, he thought he said the N word. Get out that truck fast enough. I thought he called him the N word. That could be intense. He thought he called him the N word, bro. He already was in the air running. So he was going to kill that man. Y'all better respect these essential workers, man. He almost got his ass whipped at 7 o'clock in the morning. The way he fell out that truck, bro, he thought that man called him the N word. He was ready to flip. Uh, your name is? Brittany. And how long have you been doing Acro for? About two years. <laughs> Let's get two. Down. No. Oh. Right, Wait, so well, he don't, <laughs> he don't know her. That was it. We just, that was good. That one felt good. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Two, down, up, good, down, up. Yeah, I think I like it like that. Two, down, up, good, deep, down, up, good. And you, down. <laughs> so, what that was? One, two, down, up. Bro, this is, this is the white version of them black dudes with muscles that be oiling up women naked. This man is playing chess, not checkers. He is playing chess, not checkers, bro. Wow. <laughs> you know what you did on that one? Bent your arms, I, I like a lot. Arms. Yeah, it's gotta be on two, down, up. That was good. Two, down, up. Good. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Yeah, down. Up. Oh. Good. So now I'm gonna think. Okay. One, two, down. Up. Oh. Nice. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, your name is. Yo, I'm telling y'all, man. It's it's so many different ways to to meet women and interact with women. He is playing chess, bro. This is next level, like icebreaker. So do you all remember me telling y'all that my kids eat the walls? Well, here we are again. And you all know I just done their room. And here's a flashback of me just doing this the other day. And now I'm having to do it again. So Wait, hold on. Did she say her kids eat the walls? Let's go back. 
Because I could swear she said her kids eat the walls, bro. That, that, I wasn't expecting that. So do you all remember me telling y'all that my kids eat the walls? <laughs> well, here we are again. And you all know I just done their room. And here's a flashback of me just doing this the other day. And now I'm having to do it again. So today we are getting it all the way together. I took a chunk of the wall that the kids bit off to Lowe's and they paint matched it for me. And I went ahead and got two of those edge protector things because I am not doing this again. And those of you that were commenting asking if there was something wrong with them because they eat the walls. I don't know. Maybe there is, but whatever. <laughs> all I know is they're not going to get the chance to do it oh. anymore. And honestly, Lowe's didn't do too bad paint matching this because I didn't think it was going to get ooh jump scare at the toes. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be this close but it was almost there and in no way am I professional at any of this. I just did my best and I think it came out alright. I'm just sick of looking at the bite marks all over. So hopefully this stops them. Probably won't oh. but yeah. So do you all remember me? Y'all on one today. Um, It was a lot of buns in this video. Um, snap. Oh, I'm going to go to her page for research purposes. Cause I want to know what ended up happening with her kids eating the walls. Yo, here's the funniest thing. I went in the comment section of this video. And, like, I thought I was the only one that was tripping. But <laughs> it was a lot of dudes in the comment section. I was like, hey, those aren't the only walls that would get eaten. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Hey, bro. This was in Duluth? Call the police! Call the police! This was in Duluth, bro. Duluth is like a good part of Georgia. Yeah, that's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. He just smashing in other people's shit. Oh. Call the police. Hey gang, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. At what point do you pull the ratchet out and start clapping shit? Like, at, at what point do you... I got to I gotta call my boy David because he's a cop. He he worked for uh, APD. I want to know at what point would I be in my legal right to pull my gun out and start shooting at that car? Because that's disrespectful. I mean, disrespect doesn't really give you the right to shoot somebody. You got it. You gotta feel endangered. So what? I mean, I stand in front of my car trying to protect it, and if he he's trying to run into me and my car, now I'm at my legal bounds to shoot your ass. See, I I figured it out myself. I ain't need to call him. But it's some of y'all. I think it's a few y'all that follow me. Y'all y'all are cops. Y'all work for the police. L let me know if legally I can shoot his ass or her. Whoever doing that? Oh, you making a. Get this ahí! Get this ahí! Bruh. Dale, get the whole block? Hey! Get this ahí! That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Oh, oh, y'all heard that? Somebody shot at his ass. Damn. <laughs> the three cards. I think he started from here. He started here. Uh huh. Damn. Bruh. 
Yo, he pushed that car into the driveway. I mean, into the garage. He pushed that car into the garage, bro. Son. What are he talking about? Police is right there. What's yeah. He, what are he talking about? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, there is like two cars. Police is right there. He just get here. The police is there. Shut up, Sam. I do have a video. Oh, yeah. It is too long. I was oh, trying to show you. Oh, he pushed that car into the garage too. Like almost four times. So stick it there. Why? Why? I mean, how come? I'm sorry, but you getting you getting you getting handled, dog. You getting handled, dog. I'm sorry, bro. You getting handled, dog. Cause if you don't live in Georgia, you don't really understand like how messed up this is. You need a car to go everywhere. Damn, he fucked up somebody Tesla too. You need a car to go everywhere, we, we, dog. We tried to. This car was given you know, to me by my dad, bitch. You're not the only one. It, it had to be. It had to be somebody who had to feel more special than everybody else. It 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 had to be somebody who felt like they were more special. This car was given, bitch. The whole block fucked up. But um. When I drive on the highway and I see people doing idiotic things, I get upset. I get very, I get, I, the reason why it is upsetting is because in Georgia, you need a car to go everywhere. It's not like New York where you can walk to the train station and it's damn near a train station on every block. I ain't gonna say it's a train station on every block, but everything is accessible via the MTA in New York. Right? And there's a lot of other states like that. Out here, you need a car. You need a car. Like, in order to get to work where I work at, I have to have transportation. I have to. There's no buses that go out there. I might have to take a plane because it got a, a airfield out there. But there's no buses that go out there. You feel me? So just think about that. He might have cost somebody their job. And I'm speaking from experience of like working with people. Um, it's people that used to come into my job, bro. Matter of fact, perfect example. Um, when I worked at, at the other spot, it's this guy that started working with me. I was training him. Now, mind you, we go on a point system. So the point system is like, I believe it's like five points. After five points, you're getting fired. Right? They matter of fact, it was three. It was three. They changed it to five before I quit, but it was three. So after three points, you're getting five. This man been coming to work. I've been training him. He was doing a good job. Everything was everything was cool. Somebody runs into his car. And he wasn't even driving. It was a situation like this. It was a high speed chase. 
and the person crashed into his car, totaled his car. Now he has no transportation to get to work. Guess what happened? He gets fired. He gets fired. Guess what happens after that? You ready for what happens after that? Doesn't have enough money to pay his rent. He gets evicted. He gets evicted. Has to move back to, I think he's like from North Carolina or South Carolina. Had to move back to the Carolinas. All because some kids stole a car, was running from the police, and totaled and ran into his shit. That messed him up for a few months until the insurance was able to give him some money. And even after the insurance, I don't even think they gave him no money. They didn't give him no money. They just paid off his car. So he was still jobless and still homeless and he had to move back to the Carolinas to get his situation situated. Think about that before you go on the highway and start driving all recklessly. You might cause an accident and just off of you hitting that person's car might create a chain, chain of events that'll mess their life up. Think about that. 